down just a little bit. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. How are you doing? Fine. Outstanding, outstanding. Um, as Dan said, my name is Mike Lowe. I'm the chairman of the Cal County Democratic Committee, and uh, I am truly excited to be here this evening. Thanks for having us. Um, you know, I, I, I'm going to go off the cuff here a little bit because I didn't have a lot prepared, but I'm always more than happy to, to speak when, when called for. So first of all, um, to uh, Chairman Griffin, thank, for, thank you for having me here. Thanks for um, you know, providing this wonderful evening. I'm sure everyone that was up here and all the wonderful volunteers that came up here to make this thing happen, it's been great. Um, Dan, thank you. I appreciate it from the 14th Congressional District. Um, I'm here on behalf of the 11th, the 13th, and you guys may have heard the 6th District, this race we had not too long ago, right? Um, we have truly been able to do some fantastic things in Cobb County and, and throughout the 6th District. Um, of Georgia, and it's been it's been a lot of hard work, but it's been a lot of calculated efforts on a lot of people's part. One of the things I, I talk about a couple of weeks ago, um, Chairman Porter and some other people came up to Cobb County to our to the first stop in the fall uh, DPG tour. So Chairman Porter, thank you for that. Uh, thank you for all of you that came into Cobb County for that event. It was I think it was fantastic. One of the key points of that too was, and it ties directly to what we did in Cobb, was how we could actually start winning races. When Dan mentioned earlier that we won in Cobb County as far as Hillary with the top of the ticket. That's the first time that's happened in Cobb County in 40 years. Jimmy Carter was elected the last time we had a congressional candidate in Cobb County. So the fact that, that Cobb County residents and voters could turn out um, in masses, right, in ways that we didn't think was possible, was key because three critical areas. Number one was the local county party that really got to work, rolled their sleeves and got to work. Right? We knocked on doors, we burnt out shoe leather, and we, we took the time to realize that the Cobb County was, wasn't, wasn't just one entity. Right? We had North Cobb, we have West Cobb, we have South Cobb. Getting to know the different parts of your county and things that are important to different parts of the county is key. You cannot treat all parts of the county there the same. And that's one thing that we actually absolutely had to realize. The second thing was our coordination with the state party. <clears throat> we were lucky enough to have uh, one of the county uh, or state DPG and DNC offices in Cobb County. And that did a lot for us. That allowed us to, uh, on a daily basis, have a meeting location where people could go, where people could get out and, uh, and go start canvassing and fundraising from there. The third thing was our grassroots organizations, right? Organizations that exist, we call them pop-up organizations or progressive groups that come out. Um, a lot of them came out uh, early on once it seemed like Trump was gonna, or after Trump actually won the nomination. Those groups also proved to be vital. Right? Because those groups were people that were coming in new to the process, didn't really understand what was going on, but they had the heart and the passion and desire to make a change. And collectively, between the grassroots organizations, our local party, and the, the Democratic State Party, we were able to go out and make a difference. Right? No one did we do that then, where we, shot, we sent shockwaves all through Cobb County, I think Metro Atlanta, for, for actually having Hillary to top that ticket actually win by 6,800 votes. We then turned around and done that same thing in the 6th Congressional District when we had a fellow named John Ossoff running for Congress. Right? We took a race that in January, people thought that we were wasting our time. You know, they thought there was no way that a Democrat could actually win a runoff seat, no matter if we get even further. You know, we did the same thing there. We turned that into thousands and thousands of volunteers. We turned that into a movement. We turned to having thousands of volunteers at doors and on phones. Um, that were local. I know there's a lot of discussion about you know people coming in from out of state and other areas uh, to help us with that election. But I will tell you guys, from someone who was on the ground from day one, those are people that were from Cobb, DeKalb County, and North Fulton County that made it happen. Right. So there is opportunity. You know, there's one message I'm going to leave you with is that we have an opportunity for propensity to change. You know, by being bold, by stepping out, talking to our neighbors. I always say, I don't care what street you live on, what part of the county, what neighborhood you live on. You are not on an island. You are not the only Democrat that's there. You are not, right? The fact is we have to be bold enough to step up and speak out and let other people know that we're there. You know, people say yard signs don't win races and maybe they don't. The yard sign sure enough tells your neighbors who you are and what you stand for. And that will make another neighbor step up and stand up for what they're for. And before you know it, you have half your district, half your neighbors, you know, in some ways, some cases, some others you can't really do much about, but we'll, we'll leave them alone. But the point is, right, you got to step up, step out, be bade, brave, be bold. And once you start to do that, those organizations, those, or, those, those neighborhood community groups, um, you know, people from your school, from your, from your church, 
You start to find out who truly who your neighbors are, who those who stand beside you when it's time to go to the ballot, when it's time to elect you know, your next congressman, your next city council member, your next governor. This is gonna be vitally important. So thank you for what you're doing today, but step up, be proud. Be proud to be Democrats, right? Share that with your neighbors, put those signs out and go win some races. Thanks a lot. My name is Michael Owens.